Come on in, I've been looking for you. Cookies are ready, the coffee's poured, and I've got lots of creamer if you prefer. For me, I take it black. Come on in. We're gonna have a good time. I wanna refer you to Romans 12, one and two. Therefore, I urge you, brothers, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. Then this verse stands out. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, good, pleasing, and perfect will. Look with me at verse two. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world. I wanna tell you one thing. Sometimes we read scripture and we say, well, that doesn't refer to me. This referred to the Romans. And it's not my time. I live in the valley. I don't have to take that verse. No. All scripture is given by inspiration of God mm -hmm. and is profitable. Come on. Yes. And it says, do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world. Have you conformed? Have you been squeezed into the, what the world thinks, what the world believes, and even what the world wears? Have you been squeezed? He said, don't be conformed, but be transformed. Okay, and how can we be transformed? By the renewing of your mind. And how do you get renewing of your mind? Right here, reading the scripture, meditating on the scripture, memorizing the scripture, thinking the scripture. Sometimes when I can't sleep at night, I say verses starting with A, and then B, C, maybe when I get to E, I fall asleep. I've just said every good and perfect gift is from, yeah. and then I fall asleep. But my husband and I used to have a little fun once in a while. I would say a verse and he would say where it was. Or I would say, he would give a verse and I'd say where it was. We had fun going back and forth on yeah. that. Anything that you have, do it and be transformed by the renewing of your mind. How about scripture songs? I know we don't sing those again like we did in the 90s, but frankly, I miss them. I like them. Maybe you should start singing them again. Who cares if you're by yourself? Sing anyway. And incidentally, I read a psalm out loud every day. I went to have my ears tested one day and the man that tested my ears said, look, you can improve your hearing by reading out loud. What better way to renew my mind, to help my hearing? I read out loud. Mm -hmm. Renew, renew your mind. Don't conform. The world says you're number one. You're not. <laughs> the Bible says we're not to think of ourselves too highly. We're supposed to be humble. We're supposed to always say, give a place to the weaker brother. You're not number one. No, you're not. I'm sorry I have to tell you that, but that's not true. And so he says, God has to be number one. Jesus has to be Lord of your life. You can't make it on your own. The world says, plan your life. The world says, look for a career. The world says, wait to get married. The world says, get rich. Well, what does the world's word say? Seek first the kingdom of God. Yeah, that's it. And his righteousness. Mm -hmm. Are you seeking first? Or is it way down on your list? Is it you first? 
Sometimes we make plans and we say, Lord, this is my plan for the next five years. Would you bless it, Lord? Oh, anoint this plan. And he says, why didn't you ask me first? We need to go to God first. What is your plan for me? I have told my grandchildren, ask God what he wants you to do. Ask God, does he want you in this path? Does he have a better way for you? Is he calling you into ministry? Don't settle for anything less. Mm -hmm. Seek God first. You're never, <laughs> it's always the best, trust me. I've lived a long time and I didn't get this white hair overnight. I've learned a lot of things. Some of them have been hard lessons. I remember many, many years ago, I wanted to be a teacher. I talked it over with my dad. I said, I want to teach English. I love sentences. I love dangling participles. I like adjectives, adverbs. I like the English. I like books. Daddy looked at me, said, Clara, I don't think that would be a good thing for you. My heart kind of sank because I had picked out a school even. He said, no, I don't think that's a path for you. I think you should be a nurse. And I thought, oh no, no, really? And he said, I think that that's where God wants you. And he said, because if the day comes that you get married, it'll help in your marriage. It'll help if you have children. It'll help all your life through. And I want to tell you something. I became a nurse and it sure helped when I was a mother. And it definitely helped me when my husband was so sick. I was there to care for him. I gave him a lot of care. I cleansed that wound. I cannot tell you how many times. And it came in handy. Mm -hmm. I wasn't afraid to talk to doctors. So I became a nurse. Uh, and the reason I did was I felt my father knew me best. Your heavenly father knows you best. Yes. He knows you even better than my dad. He knows you best and he wants the best for his child. So don't conform to the world, conform to Jesus. Don't conform to the pattern of the world. Renew your mind by good messages on Sunday and you need fellowship with believers. Don't leave that out. You need fellowship. You need someone to put his arm around you and say, how is it going? You need someone to say, I'm praying for you. Oh, what a blessing that is. You need fellowship. Don't leave it out. And get good gospel teaching. Good, sound, spirit-filled messages. Those are the things that will renew your mind. Trust me. Then you'll be able to rest, to test and approve what God's will is for you. There's a story my dad, my husband rather, told many times, and I think I'm gonna share it with you. Maybe it'll help someone. When he was a young man, he was going to Taylor University in Indiana. He, he hadn't even had his 18th birthday yet. He graduated fairly early and he entered college very early. Well, he had a friendship there and his dad got wind of it. And the next time John visited his father, he said, I need to talk to you. And he talked to him, he took him to the office. He said, we need to have a talk. He said, I hear you have a friendship with this girl. I understand she's daughter of the president even. She's got a car, but I don't think she's good for you. I want you to drop her. Can you imagine how he felt? 
Even now, I feel sorry for him. And John brought his cousin in, thinking his cousin would help. Danny. Yeah, Danny. Yeah, he's going to be his wingman. Yeah, he brought him in, <laughs> and he thought he'd speak up for him, and he yeah. didn't. He was on Uncle Axel's side. Yep. <laughs> so anyway. God bless him. <laughs> anyway, John said, looked at his dad, and he said, because you are my father, I will do it. Oh. And when they knelt to pray, my father, my father-in-law left a puddle of tears on that chair. John obeyed his father, yeah, he did. even if it was hard. And you know what? I'm glad he did. <laughs> I'm glad he did. Oh my goodness. Me too. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm glad he did. And and so then he said to his dad. Well, when can I have friendship with a girl again? When you're 21. Oh. Oh. Wow. Poor, poor man. And he had to go back to college and break it off with that girl. Oh, I don't even want to think about it. It makes me too sad. But what I'm saying is he obeyed his father, even if it was hard. Sometimes... God's way might seem a little hard, but it's better to obey. It's better to obey him. It's better to listen to his voice. And if you have any problems, seek out good counsel. Find somebody who knows, who's walked with the Lord a long time, who understands you, who loves you. I would recommend your pastor. He loves you, he watches over you. Don't do it alone. Go and get help. So, are you renewing your mind? Start with scripture. Tonight, read the word. Read the word in the morning. Read the word if you have to in the afternoon. Listen to worship songs. Sing and make melody in your heart. You will be renewed. You will be blessed. I know. I've tried it. <laughs>